Hey guys, Dave here from Blackstone Ballistics and today I want to talk with you about the Zerotech Thrive family of scopes. I reckon these might be one of the best value entry level scopes on the market at the moment and I've actually bought three of these. The range starts with a 3 to 9 by 40 power scope. This might be my favourite scope in the whole series. It's a great option if you don't know what you want but you just want a scope for your rifle. The next one of the range is a 3 to 12 by 44 power. It's a capable scope and a little bit of a step up in the range, but we don't actually sell too many of these because for an extra 80 bucks, you can have the four to 16 by 50 scope. It's got a nice big zoom range, lots of features, good choice of reticles, and I've currently got one of these on my 17 HMR. The Zerotech Thrives come with a wide range of reticles. You've got your traditional sort of duplex reticle that they call the Zeroplex, but I think that the PHR3 reticle is my favorite of the lot. You can use it just like a regular duplex, and it's a little bit finer so you can see your target with a bit more clarity. You can also use it for measuring your target at the maximum zoom range. Instead of the PHR3 reticle, the 4 16 is available with the PHR2. This has holdovers for 2.5, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 minute of angle. For my 4 16, I ended up choosing the Mildot reticle which is a traditional sniper feeling kind of reticle. And at the maximum zoom range, each of those dots measures one mil radian. This reticle is also available in the three to 12 by 44. This video also wasn't gonna cover the Thrive Red Dot sites, but I'm hoping to get my hands on one of these in the near future. Now, onto the hands-on. I've actually bought two of these three to nine by 40 power scopes. This one's on my 22. And son of the year here, bought one for Dad's 22 for Father's Day last year. As I mentioned earlier, it's quite a capable entry level hunting scope. And I think it's a great companion for a 22. It's got quite a solid lineup of features, while also being quite simple to use. It's got a 30mm main tube to give you plenty of adjustment, capped turrets, and an overall quite rugged build quality. The 3 to 9 by 40 power doesn't actually have any parallax adjustment, but I've never felt this scope needed it. As I mentioned earlier, I don't actually have a whole lot of experience with the 3 to 12 by 44, but it does seem to be quite similar to the 4 to 16 by 50 that I have on my 17 HMR here. I have this scope in the mill dot reticle, but it might be worth pointing out that the turrets of all the Thrive series scopes measure in quarter minute of angle clicks. So basically, I've got a minute of angle scope with a mill radian reticle. This might drive some of you guys a bit nuts, but just remember your conversions. One minute of angle is 0.3 of a mil radian. One mil radian is 3.4 minute of angle. And 14 clicks on this scope is one mil radian. Parallax adjustment on all the Zerotech scopes is a side focus dial which is how it should be for every modern scope, in my opinion. It's nicely damped, and you're never gonna actually bump this. All of the Thrive scopes have a three or four zoom ratio, and the zoom dial is a nice and tight 180 degree throw. The diopter control is nice and smooth too. Another thing that I really like about these Zerotech scopes is that eyepiece. It's a really nice and big ocular lens, which gives you a nice and clear sight picture, and a really comfortable eye relief. Zerotech scopes generally have about 3 inches of eye relief.
Well, that's about all from me about the Zerotech Thrive Scopes. Being a Zerotech product, these guys come with an unlimited lifetime warranty. And when combined with all these other features, I think these must be one of the best valley entry level scopes on the market at the moment. Thanks for watching guys, and be sure to stay tuned for my overview of the Zerotech Vengeance family of scopes.